are dancing with tech and i'm holding the sony Xperia pro i which has a most impressive hardware camera setup of any smartphone out right now with the sony Xperia pro i a lot of questions have been raised how viable are sony smartphones and if they are successful with their sales will they try to capitalize on the smartphone market well sony is a massive company that makes a lot of products like the PlayStation 5, Sony Alpha cameras, movie studios, TVs, and so much more. In other words, Sony makes a ton of money without putting any real effort into the smartphones like Samsung and Apple and Google does, which is the reason why we're here today because when they do produce a smartphone, it has a lot of beast features. This phone has a 4K 120 hertz LED display. That's crazy. Let me put this in perspective. This phone screen looks better than most people televisions today. You can watch a high quality 4K movie from your phone. And since you use your phone, a subscribe to the channel will be watchable. <laughs> The phone is 6.5 inches with a 21 by 9 aspect ratio with minimal bezels at the size. And the phone is narrow but easy to hold. And of course, as expected, there are buttons on the side including a dedicated camera shutter button. Now, if you have pressed the button, you'll get autofocus and a second press for a snapshot plus a second custom button specifically for the built-in video pro app on this phone you'll be happy to know there is a sim card tray and the rare micro sd card slot which will let you add extra terabyte of storage to your phone and let's put the icing on the cake there's a headphone jack i said ladies and gentlemen there's a headphone jack I haven't seen a headphone jack since my Note 9. You also get a red strap, and it's also water and dust resistant with an IP68 rating. The Sony Xperia Pro I, and I may add, the I stands for Imagey, which will be the focus of this video. Now, the Sony Xperia Pro I costs $1,800, which is typical for Sony considering they release a new phone every blue moon. The Pro I has an incredible hardware system. When you think about that, you think, wow, this takes some wonderful photos and videos. Sony has a massive one inch sensor as its main camera. The top of the camera is 12 megapixel ultra lens. There's a depth sensor and a 2X telephoto camera below it. Now let's go back to the main camera. It's true that your smartphone cameras have been getting better and better over the last decade. We went from having blurry and faded images to high quality 4K high resolution images. Even video quality has drastically changed. In the back in the day, when you watch a movie, you saw actors and you didn't see a lot of details with the skin tones or even the background, but today, You'll be able to see the skin tones, the pores. I mean, you'll see every tiny detail from these actors and actresses. That's the same thing for smartphones. Who knows how pictures and videos are going to look in 2033 or even 2043. I mean, you may be taking a picture and your character may just pop out. Like virtual reality. Those might be the new pictures. Who knows? This phone has the largest camera sensor today a full one inch diagonal camera. Let's put this in perspective. You had the Galaxy S22 Ultra with a one and 1.33 inch sensor. The Pixel 7 Pro is one over 2.55 inch sensor. Then the largest sensor is a Sony Xperia Pro I with a one inch sensor on the back of the phone. As a matter of fact, the Xperia Pro I has the exact camera sensor as a Sony RX100 Mark 7. That's impressive for a smartphone today. It's like having an actual camera in your pocket that's attached to a phone. Now this phone gets more impressive. Almost all smartphone lens components inside are plastic. In other words, you'll see a glass lens, but inside your dating phone, the components of the lens are plastic. 
And not a lot of people know this because all they're seeing it is an outer appearance, but not this phone. This phone uses glass lens elements inside because they are using glass elements, you get better optical quality overall, which is great thing if you factor in the price tag. The Experian Pro Eye has a change aperture feature, basically giving the photographer the ability to influence light exposure and alter the perception of objects regardless if it is in the foreground or background. There's a toggle feature in the camera UI from F2 to F4. You can change it back and forth. And the cool part about it is you can physically see it if you're looking at the back of the lens. If you view the picture from F2 to F4, you can see the difference in the sharpness of the object and the blurriness levels of the background. Now the phone has its own dedicated built-in image processor that can take super fast shots at 20 frames per second and it shoots 4K video up to 120 frames per second using the BIOS processor, which makes the hardware of the camera incredible. Let's play a game. I'm going to do a few side-by-side -side pictures and you have to choose which one is the Sony Pro I. So let's go start this game. In this picture, which image was taken with the Spirin Pro I? Look closely at the payphone. They look identical, but there's a key difference. One is processed with computing power and the other is raw image. Well, the image on the right is taken by the Experian Pro I and the other with the Google Pixel 7 Pro. In the next image, you have my three favorite monkeys. See no evil, hear no evil, and say no evil. And they all are active subscribers to my channel. I hope you are too. Now look at the image closely and tell me which one looks better to you. Now, of course, the brighter image looks better and the other image looks darker. That's because Sony doesn't do computational photography like the other smartphones in the market because they use multi-frame HDR processing. And due to that factor, Sony's results is more realistic to real life. Here goes another comparison. You will see how the Pixel 7, 7 Pro looks crisp and flashy but because Sony doesn't do multi-frame HR processing, their photos come off dull in one dimension. Let's look at the background of these two images and a quick shout out to all of the Mortal Kombat fans, including myself, Mortal Kombat. Which background looks better? Blur. Of course, you will see the Pixel 7 Pro over Sony's phone. Well, you camera enthusiasts will say, I thought this phone had a one inch sensor which is true, but they don't use an entire one inch sensor. The Experian Pro I uses roughly about 40 to 60% of the one inch sensor because of its pocket size lens. Here goes a sample. You have a square, then inside the square, you have a circle which represents the phone lens. Essentially, the lens from the phone is all you have using the one inch sensor. This limits the amount of high quality glass packed inside because the device is so small compared to a bulky camera. Then your dual aperture with F2 being the maximum. There are other smartphone devices like the S22 Ultra or the Google Pixel 7 Pro that receives more light and executes a brighter image that doesn't look flat. And that's because the Sony phone don't receive all the light into their phone. Let's ask a question. Is this phone a good fit for you? Meaning, do it fit your budget? And do you want manual controls? I don't recommend this phone to the average user, especially if you are a point and shoot person. You just want to take a nice picture and keep on moving. But a photo enthusiast or professional photographer will probably appreciate manual controls and and the price tag is $1,800 will turn a lot of heads. But as far as the recording, you can buy this phone as low as $1,100 if you go on Amazon or somewhere else. Uh, it may be even cheaper on the Sony website at this point. If you enjoy tech focused videos, top 10 tech series, or future techs, this is a definite channel for you. So please subscribe to the Dance With Tech family and also like the videos. And I'll see you guys 
next time.